Coco Moon Eau de Parfum by Beach Giza is a compliment monster. Much of its sex appeal is attributable to tuberose, an outrageously expensive flower that Rojah Dove describes as the harlot of perfumery. Victorian England even forbade young girls from smelling tuberose for fear that they might experience spontaneous orgasms. Suave bergamot and sweet pineapple. Welcome a heart of milky coconut, fruity, musky jasmine, and salty, creme brulee-like tuberose before voluptuous vanilla, velvety oak moss, root beer faceted benzoin, warm sandalwood, and balsamic cedar complete the dry down. The overall effect is complex, creamy, calorific, carnal, a little narcotic, and very decadent. If you like this fragrance review, please subscribe to my channel with notifications and leave a comment. As a kid, I always loved the smell of suntan oil. I associated it with forbidden drinks with umbrellas and untouchable girls in bikinis. And to this day, I get excited anytime I hear about a fragrance that evokes pina coladas and tropical vacations. Coco Moon is delicious stuff that smells like a niche interpretation of 1980s Hawaiian Tropic. It is less fruity, more woody, and more ambery, but essentially sunscreen with gravitas that can be credibly worn by men. Coco Moon is probably too flirty for the office and too seasonally specific for year-round use. But when I need to feel sexy, when I need to make a statement and be heard in summertime, Coco Moon might be unbeatable. By the way, what did the hurricane say to the coconut tree? Hold on to your nuts. This is no ordinary blowjob.